Expo giving me opportunity to present here. Uh, sir, I am going to uh, present the idea of the smart initiative of handling the construction waste and debris. Uh, as told, I have do it in five slides, so I try as much as possible to squeeze this, but it might take time, but I'll do it. Uh, today across Pune or any other places we see a lot of the construction activities going on and because of this you see how the debris are uh, been stacked or been disposed of. So there is no foolproof method of handling it. Uh, so just to go back and start it, I would say uh, what are the best, how it is generated, what quantum it is generated and how do we handle it. And then whether it's a financial model, so I will try to do it. Pune, considering one of the fastest growing city and approximate value, I would consider as 1.3 billion square meters. So this data is not very sure because I could not get the exact data, but I would say this is 1.3 square million. Out of that, even if I consider 10% as a new, which is redevelopment or demolition, which might be higher side or a lower side, because the exact data are still not available on net or you can't get it. And a lot of infrastructure works which keeps on happening like roads and footpaths and drains and other toilets and all this thing. The type of construction waste. Normally, typically I am trying to pick it up with construction waste is concrete which is extra always on site or you have plasters which is broken down, brickworks, waste or pavers and construct. If I go and understand what are the estimate currently, a new construction really gives you 40 to 60 kg per square meter whereas a re repair and renovation is again the same but the demolition and redevelopment is a major thing which gives you 300 to 500 kg per square meter of waste. And additionally, uh, there is no record or anything which I try to do a lot of this thing that what would the infrastructure uh, activities really give you a waste. And really if you go and see, I could find out on the net is that the CAG also says that there are no estimate or even guesstimates exist for construction and demolition across India. Uh, further, if I, uh, based on that I estimate, what is the waste which is generated here? Typically, if I consider 1.3 million square, it's 65,000 metric tons per year. Demolition would be 52,000 tons per year, which per day would come down very less. But I could find out somewhere in data is that Delhi produces around 4,000 tons per day. So this is still underestimated. Really, we don't have a computer data that how much it would be there. I'm trying to get this data is to understand what type of financial model really works out. Most of the debris is again dumped uh, wherever there is uh, going to be an area where there is low lying or something, some of the people just develop, they use it, dump it as a leveling course on the same ground or it is not along the roadside. So this is another ha environmental hazard. So if you really, uh, what is the way to do it? Uh, really if you start segregating the uh, construction and debris, I am using a word a C and D, so not use the same. It's recycle, remove the earthen part of it. it, still it can be used if you really put it that. Transport to a central recycle facility or a crusher plant. I would say if I look at the geography of Pune, it should not be one, but it can be at three other corners wherein the logistic cost goes down as you transport it much shorter distance so you are not taking more than 10 to 12 kilometers. And then recrush the aggregate. What you would get is mostly is an aggregate and more of crushed sand. Today we have a big issue of getting natural sand and most of the people have moved to manufacture crust sand. And crust sand aggregate is used for producing a lot of other things. Another way is if you, you can use this directly into an RMC plant and make this or you can use to make bricks, pavers, concretes, whatever. There are ways to handle the mixed design and use the ratio, the proportion, what you want to use it. Another is tracking and generation of waste. Wherever there is a commencement certificate, we can log into it that if the people are doing some new work, we, we can guesstimate that this much is the quantum which will readily produce. So when they dispose it off to a construction plant or a recycle plant, how much is they really tracked and how much when they do a completion certificate, whether they have used this recycle waste or not. In some of the foreign country, unless you have a recrushed re aggregate used, they don't get permissions to do further construction. That's a norm I will just so. Use a GPS tracker, that's, that's another way of smart to understand where the really the trucks goes. If you are designated movement of mobile trucks are available and if you can map this everything on a GIS map or a Google map, it really helps you to understand how the logistics, which type of construction is moving more and which plant it goes. And really uh, even the government of Maharashtra says that the solid waste management cell uh, has been included into is that each city requires to have a collection and disposal of waste from bulk waste producers and construction. It's not only this, but there are a lot of brick factories and tile manufacturers, they also create a lot of waste, which really is not getting disposed of because there is no recycling plant or they don't use that facility. 
If you really look at, uh, I would say that Smart is a, one of the plant which is a typical plant, which is a crusher, which you can have a 300 ton or a 200 ton TPH, whatever. It would, or there can be a mobile crushers also, which can be used to Smart. There are some equipment which can crush it. Nowadays, there are also some equipment which are buckets added to, if I go back and um, show you here again, is uh, crushers uh, which has a bucket attached to a forklift. Uh, or, or a uh, JCB, which can crush it directly on site. And the final product can be this, because the corporation uses a lot of pavement and curb stones and footpath. This directly can be used into it. And producing concrete, if you are surplus, you can always make it. So if I really do a, uh, just costing on it, this is the current price in market, what you get uh, aggregate is 700 to 580 to 700 is crushed sand. But if you really crush and use that, with the crushing cost, except the land cost, I'm not considering the land cost of the facility, is around 300. So it's a direct saving in the con construction cost. And where it can be used, pavers, scrub stones, concrete roads, concrete brick, low cost housing, toilet blocks, new concrete, or nowadays even people make 100% recycled concretes. So how do we do it? Uh, basically, you can work out the PPB model where it can be a private crushers are designated, two or three, or a corporation has their own centralized plant. There is a, uh, there should be a rule that the segregated waste is goes to this designated plant with a tracked, uh, mo mo tracker also there on the trucks. This disposal waste should have some monetary value. Unless there is a monetary value, like steel, if it is a monetary value, you don't find a piece of steel lying anywhere in the ground. So if this gets started getting monetary value, this will get automatically disposed of. Recycle this aggregate, PMC can directly use in their works or give it to their end vendors that if you are giving me pavers or if you are giving me footpaths, make it from this. The original basic cost goes down. Or if they are doing their own works of building toilets or footpaths and slum rehabilitation, everything can be done. There can be some ways of doing is that PMC can they put in their town planning act some incentives that wherever you are producing, if you are producing 10 lakh square meter of construction, you use certain percentage as a recycle aggregate which really will drive the whole thing develop new building ratings like the green building rating. But the whole thing would really work unless you don't have a key involvement of planners, you don't have the architects or the structural consultant accepting these ideas. There has to be some promotion because across the world this is happening, but it's not happening so efficiently in India. So unless, and also the end users who are the builders, the RMC, crushers and various cement plants. If everything gets into this, it really would take care of the construction debris what we are creating today. If I, um, and that would really help us to uh, show how it helps it. Um, really, but five slides, so I'm trying to go here. But if you allow me, I'll go one more slide, and I'll show you, show you some of the global trends, which we can see here how it is done. I tried to get some data, and I've also seen some outside that people really do this. If you really, I would just pick up one. When uh, London Olympic was going on, they required five lakh cubic meters of concrete to do for the stadium. Yeah, so I'm, I'm through. So they did, what they did is they connected to all the redevelopers in England and they could pick up 1,70,000 metric tons of aggregate, which helped them to 22% was recycled. Some of the countries I've visited, I've seen is that in US or in, especially in Germany, if you're doing a reconstruction, unless you recycle the aggregate, you're not allowed to construct new. Then no natural aggregate resources is allowed to be done. So it really helps out. So even if tomorrow corporation wants to start, you can just pick up the waste which is going behind, take it to a crusher, crush it, give it back to him. He will immediately make a PCC out of it or a brick to it. Thank you, sir. Which is going on the corporation sites mm -hmm. directly to some of the crusher. There are, you don't you need to even invest. There are so many crushers in Katraj or you go to Solapur Road. You will have crusher. Somebody you pay a certain price of crushing, you get that crushed and use it back on your site. Your implementation starts today, sir. You don't have to have any investment. So, can do it. Own, own it's own. Yeah. And even if your price of purchasing an aggregate goes down by 400 cubic meter, yeah. it's a saving. It's yeah. a revenue. And if this really becomes a revenue model is that when you start selling this, if you're buying at 700 and you're getting an aggregate at 300, I don't think so. People will even give it to corporation. They would recrush it and sell it in the market. But I like your that, con that concept. We will give you commencement certificate any plan. Absolutely. After Sir, I had gone to a consultant in US who was a town planner and they, I saw their new building and new slab. I said, what is this? So they said to promote sustainability, we were told that you have to use your own breakage 
and then do concrete. After that, if you require more concrete, go and buy it. So there are now laws getting implemented in EU, EU, European Union, is that unless you have a certain percentage of recycle, if you don't have, you have to buy recycle. Like in Hong Kong, if you dispose it for not for recycling, they charge you. If you recycle it, they will not charge you. So if you look at that, it was $27 per ton if you are using it. If you are not disposing and not using it, it's $127 a ton. Because there is no place in Hong Kong or Singapore you want to dump. So they really start doing this recycle. Is there a true sense itself? Rules and incentives. So, so you, you can give you, you rating, like the green building rating. So you start developing that as a rating to rating. And unless you really give a monetary value, so in India, unless there is a rest also as a monetary value. Some tax so tax is something beyond, uh, I would say, how that affects the revenue of a corporation. Yeah. But even just giving a monetary awesome. value, if you tell people that by using this, you are saving your down cost of the final production cost of a building, people will run for it. So, so now, so the so what about the value of the construction? Say you have something, for concrete, cement concrete building for which you use cement. Yeah. And uh, it costs you so and so. Now, if you use... Uh, a clinker or some crushed material, is it equivalent to producing the concrete? No, no, sir. Uh, I, yeah. uh, I would say that it, that would be a straight 500 rupees a cubic meter saving. If I use